Aaron Carter's official cause of death has been ruled as an accidental drowning with other contributing factors. In a report by the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner released today, the singer's death was listed as having two attributing causes. The first was drowning, while the second was the effects of alprazolam, a generic form of Xanax, and difluoroethane, a gas used as an inhalant. Difluoroethane works as a central nervous system depressant and can be found in common household items as a propellant for compressed air canisters. Some abuse it as a huffing substance, which induces euphoria but can become toxic quickly. Don't miss! Grammy's fans outraged as Aaron Carter snubbed in In The Memoriam Tributes, reaction, Aaron Carter looked thin, tired and not okay physically before death, comments, Aaron Carter has been cremated after tragic death age 34, latest, according to the official autopsy report, 34-year-old Carter was incapacitated as a result of the substances, and subsequently drowned as a result. Carter was found dead in his bathtub at home in Lancaster, California on November 5, 2022. He was 34 years old. His death was later confirmed by representatives, who asked for privacy at the time. However, in January 2023, coroners at first ruled out drowning, according to TMZ, as they didn't detect any water in his lungs. He was survived by fiancé Melanie Martin, and their one-year-old son, Prince Lyric Carter. Following the news of the autopsy report, Martin has released a statement, stating she wasn't sure the findings were accurate. She told TMZ, the results of the autopsy are not closure for me. It claims death is by drowning but also adds he was wearing a t-shirt and necklace in the bathtub which doesn't make sense, why would he be in a bathtub with clothes on? I am still in shock and still miss Aaron every day. I don't understand the chain of events and this report only has us asking more questions. Melting